Yeah, good evening. This is a uh, public hearing for comment on the federal environmental impact statement. That study got a tentative approval by federal regulators late last month. In their draft report, federal regulators concluded environmental concerns were not serious enough to stop the pipeline, noting, quote, but these impacts would be reduced to less than significant levels, adding through mitigation. Well, we thought that the findings of the draft environmental impact statement were very comprehensive and very thorough. We took a hard look at all the aspects of the project and potential impacts and determined that uh, the project could be constructed safely. Critics say the concerns are significant and threaten North Carolina's environment. But it's pretty common to see these type of things. They've only disapproved two pipelines out of 400 plus since 1999. So we kind of expect it. Opponents say in addition to the environmental hazards, the project abuses the rights of property owners through eminent domain. It argues that MVP has exaggerated the demand for natural gas in the region. We've had great working relationships with landowners, um, federal and state agencies, other stakeholders. We really appreciate the cooperation that we've had with folks and we're committed to building this project safely and responsibly to meet North Carolinians' energy demands. The Southgate extension of the MVP project covers more than 70 miles in North Carolina, entering the state near Eden, ending near Hall River. The company says North Carolina will benefit from construction jobs in the short term and from an increased supply of affordable natural gas in the long term. The president of the North Carolina Chamber says, quote, it will improve access to affordable natural gas and help strengthen North Carolina's reputation as a leading place in the world to do business. But critics say the project is not worth the risk. The negative impacts grossly outweigh any benefit that it could possibly present to us as a community, as citizens, as taxpayers and landowners. North Carolina regulators have already turned this project down once. MVP has reapplied for that needed permit. Tonight's public hearing runs until 8 o'clock, and there's another one scheduled for this Thursday. That one is in Hall River. In Rockingham County, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.